Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I wanted to share with you um, kind of like a collaboration I'm doing with a bunch of other people and Rose Likes Crochet. Rose contacted a bunch of us uh, recently and asked us to, um, she was going to send us a ball of cotton yarn to make um, a dishcloth or a scrubby out of and then send it back to her in hopes to raise awareness through all of our communities for the organization that she's raising um, items for and has been for quite some time called wings and it's local to her i'm pretty sure out of um illinois and uh, they are a, a shelter for domestic violence so she gave me a piece of paper <laughs> to read out i'm not gonna read it out loud but i'm gonna do it anyways so it's breaking the cycle of domestic violence the mission of wings program inc is to provide housing, integrated services, education, and ad advocacy <laughs> to end domestic violence. WINGS provides a pathway to independence for adults and children who are escaping from domestic violence and abuse. Our goal is to provide the tools and support necessary to ensure that victims can escape their abusers and begin building new violent-free lives. So they offer um, safe housing, counseling and planning, and mentoring. And part of that safe housing is they have items to give people, you know, to start having items for their house and stuff. So, um, you know, I know in the past she's collected baby items and blankets and stuff. So currently she is going to be collecting a whole bunch of dishcloths and scrubbies all summer long until September. And then, um, donate them. <laughs> <laughs> to them so the whole point of her sending us yarn and i forgot the barb ball band let me go grab that the whole point of her sending us a ball of yarn is so that we could make items and share with our viewers and then that would hopefully encourage them to make items to donate i do understand that postage is pretty high right now and it's went up recently um so if you don't want to donate to wings specifically there are other organizations everywhere i'm sure almost every city has uh domestic violence help groups and stuff so if you can't afford to send items to Rose to distribute to her area, I'm sure you can find somewhere local. All you gotta do is quick, quick Google search or call someone in your city. Um, what is it called? Like City Hall <laughs> and ask them. But anyways, so she sent me a ball of Yarn Bee Scrubology Cotton. I already used it all. <laughs> and it is uh, called nice to meet you <laughs> it was real pretty like white and pink and blue 100 percent cotton uh it said it was number four but it was a scrubby yarn so it's super thin like stringy uh yeah so i used the entire ball of this and then i held it together with a ball of lily sugar and cream that i also used <laughs> the entire ball and it was called psychedelic and so i made a bunch of this stuff so i wanted to share you first i made this giant dishcloth and i realized it was too big but i liked how the colors worked together i think it looks good so it's cotton yarn with uh, the scrubby held to it, and it's and, you know gives a good texture for cleaning stuff. <laughs> so I accidentally made this one a little too big, but I know some people like bigger rags. So then I made two smaller ones, one smaller than the small one. So it's like three different sides of cloths. And then um, after I got them done, I still had some yarn left, so I wanted to use up as much as I could. So I made a scrubby with like a handle thing, and then I made a smaller scrubby with a handle thing <laughs> for you know scrubbing and then I also made three little scrubbies just by themselves and then I was out of the psychedelic yarn I only had like this much left <laughs> I saved it to show show you but I forgot what I did with it <laughs> and then I did still have a little bit of the um the yarn bead yarn so I went ahead and just made like a little scrubby with it I don't know how usable that would be <laughs> but um I mean it still works it was really hard to make with just the scrubby yarn because it's so fibery. You know, it's got all these little fuzzies. But I did it. So I made uh, three cloths and one, two, three, four, five, six scrubbies <laughs> with those two balls of yarn. And I used up every single bit of this. Like I had enough to weave in the end. And then the psychedelic yarn, I had like five inches left over from the end so I was pretty proud of that <laughs> so I'm going to be packaging these up soon and sending them off to Rose to do for her um video or her what is it called fundraiser type thing but it's not funds it's cloths scrubbies 
I don't know. I should have worded that better. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm, I have allergy medicine in me, so I'm probably crazy. But um, yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> it was fun to um, get the yarn and have to do something with it. And I wanted to use every bit of it up because it's for a good cause. So I did. <laughs> used completely up two whole ball bands, so that's cool. But I got to get these in the mail soon. Well, she said by September, so I got plenty of time. But if I don't do it now, I'll forget. So I need to do it now. <laughs> but um, I'll, I got her address right here, and I'll send it off to her. And when she she wrote me the, um, when she sent me the thing, first there's a little llama sticker. Also, her daughter wrote, hi, Jesse from Carrots. Her daughter's nickname is Carrots. So, um... That was just cute. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> that's it. I'm going to link Rose's channel down below. Head over and check her out if you haven't heard of her, but I'm sure you've already heard of her. Um, but, uh, yeah, so get to make it some things. Almost all of us have some cotton yarn laying around, so it's better to uh, send it to somewhere where it will be used for people who need it than just setting it on our shelves. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get these packaged up. i got to mail these soon or I'll forget. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.